Yo, what is up you guys? My name is Benji and welcome back to another video. Before we get started with today's awesome video, if you guys would be so, so kind of please, please just quickly like this video and subscribe if you guys haven't already. I'm pushing upon 23,000 subscribers. I really hope to get there soon. So before we get started, please, please quickly like the video and please subscribe. So far in the market, we are seeing yet another green day. The Dow is up 1.05, S&P is up 0.97, NASDAQ is up 0.72, and and the VIX is in the red. We're down 8.84% in the VIX. So overall, pretty steady green day so far today. There hasn't been anything too crazy that we've seen on the day uh, other than pretty much a steady sideways slash upward trending graph. On some news, there's 153,000 new cases and Fauci's urgent caution. So we are still watching the case numbers and all of that. And some other pretty exciting news, DoorDash did release IPO filing, which is pretty cool for them. So we're also going to keep an eye on DoorDash IPO in sometime soon here. For the big portfolio, though, we are seeing quite a good day today. We're up 2,400 and some change. We're up 0.65% on the day. We're sitting at $380,192, so we are pretty close. We're just tapping the all-time highs of this portfolio, so that's pretty exciting to see. Over the last week, though, we're up 1,900. We're up 0.52%. Over the last week, the last month, we're up 6,800, up 1.85% over the last month. And the last three months, we're up 10,000, we're up 2.87% over the last three months. And then over the last year all time, we are basically to the all-time highs, basically just touching it. We're at 16,173 in the green, up 4.44% as of the last year, and up 4.47 as of all time. Before we get into today's purchases, I did want to quickly look through all the dividends in the portfolio that are pending as well as some big ones that we were paid out today. We do have some new monster dividends that just popped up here as of recently. So we have this ExxonMobil 109.62 for our 126 shares of Exxon. That's a pretty big one. We also have a pretty decent one from Wells Fargo considering, you know, Wells Fargo has really beat up our portfolio overall, but they are still paying dividend. It's not a lot. It was cut, but it's better than nothing. So we got $41 from Wells. And then we have a pretty nice size one from Pfizer, from Intel, and so on and so forth. We do have some decent size ones coming up here pretty soon. But today, you guys, we were paid out the 165.05 from Apple. And I was also paid out around $80 for my Apple shares over on my TD Ameritrade account. So overall, just today alone, I was paid out over $250 in dividends just from Apple, which I'm super proud of, super excited about. And then, of course, today we also were paid out our 134.84 from our 303 shares of enterprise products. So on the day so far, you guys, we're at like around $400 just from dividends in the portfolio. Uh, of course, we'd love to see that. As far as the trades on the day go, you guys, didn't make all that many plays because the market was kind of just sitting still slash moving upwards for the most part today. There wasn't much that was catching my eye, but we did make a few trades. We first bought to close this $38 Cisco call that expires in a few weeks here for th for $345 for like one contract. We then went ahead and sold out a $42.50 strike price with Cisco. And this expiration is super, super far out. This one is on January 21st, 2022. So this would be considered a leap. This is pretty far away, obviously. But the reason I did went ahead and did this is because... Cisco is one of those stocks I do want to hold on to for a while, most likely. Um, and with Cisco jumping up so much after yesterday's earnings, uh, it did go up quite a bit in price. So that gave me the opportunity to roll this over and have a better position here. My average cost for Cisco is around 40 bucks. So the selling this $38 call would have actually lost me money if it would get exercised. But by rolling this over, we're now at 4250 as far as the strike price goes. We have a lot of time in this one, so we have more than enough time to re, uh, you know, structure it. So we were able to receive 391 in premium. So we had to spend 345 to close it early, but we were able to earn more than that in premium. And we got a better position out of it. So that's pretty good there. The next one, you guys, we went ahead and bought to close another Cisco, actually, because I do have 200 shares of Cisco. So we went ahead and bought to close this one for much cheaper, $210 to buy to close this one early. This was a $39.50 strike price, so not as bad as of a position as a $38. But we went ahead and rolled this one out into a further date also, the same one as the last. And we also did the $42.50 strike price for this one. This one we earned $3.90 and only had to pay $2.10. So quite a bit of profit on that one as far as a premium goes. And the last trade of the day, we went ahead and bought 10 more shares of Pembina Pipeline for $22.80. This was the only relatively good deal I found today in the market. Um, so I'm honestly just holding back, you guys. I don't have that much cash balance to work with. And I do feel like we'll probably have some more turbulence in the market at some point soon here. So I'm not completely sitting out, but I really, you know, for the most part, sat out today. 
I want to real quick show you guys my option premium tracker. This is a makeshift option premium tracker that I created. It basically just has the day of the week, the date, and I just put in there how much premium I was able to earn, able to receive on that day if I did sell premium in the market on that day. So I've been keeping track of this for quite a long time now, and it's been going pretty good. As you guys can see here, let me zoom in a little bit on the graph. Over the last few weeks, we have been able to earn quite a bit more premium because we have had all the Apple shares. So like this week alone, we've been able to earn 1980, 1916, and so on and so forth. So like we're talking like a few thousand dollars per week now, which is pretty awesome. That's my goal here. So it's going pretty well so far. But what I'm pretty excited about is I haven't added it all up in quite some time. And I just did today, you guys, and we're at $18,936 of total premium earned into this portfolio since we started the portfolio. Uh, which is, of course, very, very exciting. This is basically outside income that was able to be generated into the portfolio from basically doing things that we'd already been doing, buying stocks and selling stocks. So super, super excited about that. Obviously, we haven't really realized all of these gains yet because we do have a lot of open contracts. So once we close them out, depending on where they close out at, We'll be able to realize a lot more of this profit, but it doesn't matter. So far, so good. We are earning a lot of premium, and I love to see that. And yeah, hopefully we can keep the summer going up. That'd be awesome to be able to earn like, I don't know, twenty five dollars or $50,000 of premium per year. And before I go, you guys, let's go over some viewer questions and comments. If you guys ever do have any questions or comments, make sure to leave them down below. Thank you about investing, business, real estate, or anything at all. Just leave something down below. The first one's from Justin. I imagine the stock market could go through a hard correction if everything locks down again. Probably not as bad as before, but I think it won't recover as fast either. But who knows for sure? I sure don't. Justin, that's a good point. I do worry that if there is another lockdown and businesses are forced to shut down, I worry that um, some of them might not make it out. The ones that did make it out of this last downturn, uh, you know, they made it out okay. It would be interesting to see if certain companies wouldn't make it out of this next one. Uh, but who knows? It's really all up in the air here. I've been thinking of plenty of different scenarios. I've been reading about tons of different scenarios. It's really hard to know at this point. This one's from Jake, the 15-year-old investor. Had to change my name. Totally recommend joining the Discord, by the way. LOL, very fun. So shout out to Jake. Happy 15th birthday. And yes, the Discord is absolutely awesome. You guys have got to get in there. It's absolutely hilarious. And there's actually tons and tons of smart people in there. So definitely join the Discord today. And you guys, the last one is from the beginning. They won't shut down the economy again. I can see restrictions to an extent, but nothing big. I work in senior living and vaccines will get passed to skilled communities and then assisted livings. I will be taking the vaccine for sure. I expect each place of business will offer the same once they will acquire the vaccine. This is also an interesting take. I do think that the fact that there is a vaccine pretty much right in front of us, hopefully, that that is going to play a big role in the next shutdown, if there is a shutdown or anything. Either way, as I said before, we should probably know more over these next few weeks and see how things are going, and then probably start positioning ourselves, our investments from there. But you guys, that is going to do it for this video. Thank you so much as always for stopping by. Please, please drop a like on the video if you guys did like the video. Make sure to leave any more comments or questions down below, and I'll answer a few more of them in the next one. And please, please subscribe if you guys haven't already. I'm really pushing to get to 23,000 subscribers ASAP. I post videos every single day going over my multiple portfolio, showing you guys all the stocks I buy, sell, the options I'm trading, and much, much more. So make sure to subscribe. And lastly, if you guys haven't already, make sure to join the Discord. It's absolutely free to join. The link is down below in the description. It's full of dividend investors, options traders, day traders, and much, much more. Tons and tons of smart people in here. It's an awesome, awesome community that I'd love for you guys to join. So make sure to join the Discord. And I hope to see all of you guys in there. Again, thanks so much as always for stopping by and I'll see you guys in the next one.